Can you just start us off with how something harmless that, you know, maybe a post on social media can lead to a pretty scary identity theft situation? Absolutely. Well, there are a variety of things. First, when you post pictures and you don't disable the location services on the camera, of either your phone or the digital camera, um, you are basically leaving a trail of breadcrumbs as to where that picture was taken. So if you're just showing someone, look at my new car, look at my new work of art, look at my child, look at any variety of things, and you haven't disabled that, you could be telling them where they could find whatever it is they might want to steal and what vehicle they would need to take it away in. When you go on vacation, when you post all the wonderful places where you are, you're also indicating to burglars and stalkers either where you are or where you're not. Mm. Um, when you answer questions uh, for quizzes and you think they're harmless, and think of them as components to a nuclear weapon, in and of themselves, many of the components are harmless, but combine them and they're lethal. Well, when you give answers uh, to these quiz questions, you may not realize that they're also the same answers that you're giving to security questions that are used to authenticate you at the various websites you go to. So you're really opening yourself up to all kinds of things. That's why I say on social media, lie. 